All right, welcome back, class. This is Mr. Paredes, and today we are working on Module 7, Lesson 3, Write Two-Step Equations for Situations. This is in your 7th grade Into Math workbook, pages 237 through 242. This video in particular will be covering the Build Understanding and Step It Out section, okay? Task 1 through 2, those are on pages 238 and 239. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's look at task one on page 238. The perimeter of an isosceles triangle is 60 feet. The base is 12 feet long. Write an equation that can be used to find the lengths of the congruent sides. Part A, write an expression for the perimeter in feet of the isosceles triangle. Use the variable x to stand for the unknown information. So for perimeter of a triangle, I'm going to add all three sides, right? So I need to add x, x, and 12, okay? So for part A, I'm just gonna plug those into these boxes. I have x plus x plus 12. Part B, combine any like terms in the expression. Well, I do have like terms, right? I have two variables that are the same, and I have a constant, which is just the number. So I have to add both of those together, my two x's, right? Those are the like terms. So 1x plus 1x equals 2x. So my new expression with the combined like terms is 2x plus 12. What is the value of the expression you wrote? Well, 2x plus 12 is the perimeter, right? That's me adding up all my sides. But it did tell me the perimeter is 60 feet. So I know the value of this expression is 60 feet. So part D, use your answers from part B and C to write an equation that can be used to find the length of each of the two equal sides. Well, I know the perimeter is 60 feet. And I know in order to get 60 feet, I need to add all three sides, which we said was 2x plus 12. And it's that simple. That's our expression. That's our equation that we're using, right? We have our 2x plus 12, which is adding all three sides, x plus x plus 12. And we know it's equal to 60 feet. Part E. How would your equation change if the perimeter were 80 feet? Well, the sides would stay the same. It's still 2x plus 12. The only thing that would change is the 60. We would change it to 80 feet. Because that would be the new perimeter. Part F. What would your equation be? if the perimeter were 80 feet and the base were 10 feet long. Well, the base was this value right here, right? 12 feet. That was the base of the triangle. If we change that to a 10, well, then that would be our new equation, right? I would have 2x plus 10, and we say that it equals 80 feet. So let's look at task two on page 239. Chelsea buys a shirt and shoes at the store with the coupon at the right. The price of the shirt before the discount is $22, and her total discount is $18.55. 
write an equation to find the price of the shoes before the discount. So if you notice, it is 50% off the entire purchase, right? That's the discount. The other information that we know, well, I know the shirt is $22. The shoes, we don't know. And the discount was $18.55. Okay, so let's look at part A. What information are you trying to find? And how can a variable help determine that information? Well, the information we're trying to find is the price of the shoes before the discount, right? That's what we're looking at or looking for. An equation can be written with X as a variable representing the price of the shoes before the discount. So I know the price of the shoes before the discount. We're going to use X, right? So part B, write an equation that can be used to find the unknown information. Use X as the variable. Well, I know I want to add the shirt, which was $22, plus the shoes, right? And I know it's 50% off. Both of these added together, I'm going to take 50% off. And for this, I'm just going to use a percentage as a decimal. Okay. Remember, 50% is 0 0.5 or 0 0.50. This is equal to our discount, right? When we do this, we get 18.55. All right. So let's look at part C. What does each side of the equation represent? Well, I know the left side of the equation shows the 50% discount applied to the cost of the shirt and shoes. The right side of the equation stands for the discount off the price of the shirt and shoes. Okay. Now, part D, what does the variable X represent? Well, X represents the price of the shoes before the discount because we don't know what it is, right? That's what we're trying to figure it out or figure out. So that's why we use the variable because it's an unknown value. All right, class, so that is it for Module 7, Lesson 3. I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you answered yes to either one of those or both, click like so I know. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe so you can get notifications of when the new videos are posted. Okay, so as you guys are getting stuff done, don't forget to complete all your work and submit it. OK, that way you can get your grades up and pass all your classes until next time, guys. Take care.